Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the very interesting transfer rumor that we've just heard. That is of course that Dakota Quickstep are interested in signing the three-time former world champion Peter Sagan. So anyways, as always, I'm joined by Mr. Critical himself, Ewan. How are you, Ewan? And what was your first impressions of this rumor? Well, I feel like we haven't spoken about Sagan on this channel for a while, but here we are. He's back on the map. And that is courtesy of quite a few articles and some rumors. We know that Ralph Denk, the man who operates and manages uh, Bora Hansgrohe, said in the past couple of weeks that he was feeling a little bit let, let down by Peter Sagan and that his contract isn't necessarily secured for the years to come due to a lack of results in the Spring Classics over the past couple of years, and also his green jersey second place last year. That's placed a lot of concern on Ralph Denk and Bora Hansgrove for the future. And then uh, we jump in with with, uh, with an interview with Cycling News where Pete Sagan pretty much declares that he's comfortable to move. And all of a sudden, the rumor mill starts churning and L'Equipe, the French newspaper, have reported that the Koenig Quickstep could be his new home for 2022. I mean, when you're looking at the facts of it, he's the second highest paid cyclist in the world. But anyways, the highest paid is Chris Froome. But in 2020, of course, he, as you said, lost his green jersey and he only took one Giro d'Italia stage. And in that Giro, he was kind of hyped up to be the superstar to dominate the race in terms of the points classification. That didn't really happen. And Largely in the 2021 season, I know it's still fairly young. He has managed to take a World Tag Catalonia stage win, but in the Tour of Flanders, he wasn't really competitive with the likes of Metro van der Poel, Kespa Eskren, and of course, Wout van Aert. So yeah, it doesn't really seem like a good investment for Bora Hansgrohe at this stage. And as you've said in the past, they have so many other riders coming to the forefront now as well. Well, we've seen that Bora Hansgrohe are now building a team with Fouts again. The aim was to kind of be this German squad anyway and they've managed to do it. Sagan did allow them to get into the World Tour to start with, but nowadays it's more of a Schachmann, Buschmann, Ackermann team than it is a Sagan team. And that goes to show that his importance and significance in the team is starting to go down and decline. Nevertheless, Sagan is such an important figure for sponsorship. He is still a triple world champion. His face is recognizable to many cycling fans and people who aren't even fans of the sport, especially within Europe. But... The key to this move, according to L'Equipe and also Head and Head Newsblad, is that the Koenig Quickstep are looking to secure a sponsorship deal with Specialized. And Sagan has been writing Specialized since 2015. So this deal and this move would make sense. If Sagan wants to keep that big money sponsorship deal, then he'll have to stay at a team that writes Specialized. And currently, I believe Bora and the Kona Quickstep are the only teams that write Specialize in the Pro Peloton now. We've seen this in the past by Patrick Lefebvre and the Kona Quickstep that they have signed these big stars like Philippe Gilbert and then kind of rejuvenated their career. Philippe Gilbert, of course, went to BMC and kind of disappeared largely from the pro cycling scene uh, in terms of noteworthy results. And then he came to Quickstep. He came on a smaller contract, but with big winning bonuses. And then we saw, of course, he won the Tour of Flanders and Haru Bay. Do you think Peter Sagan can do something similar here? Like we've said, he's kind of disappeared from the Peter Scan who used to be. And do you think maybe he can get rejuvenated? And where would he fit into the De Koenig quick step lineup as well? Well, Gilbert is a brilliant example to, to make that. Gilbert, his 2015 and 16 results weren't brilliant. Then all of a sudden he comes into the new De Koenig quick step environment and things change. The way they race is very different to any other team in the pro peloton. And if Sagan is losing the faith of Bora now to work for him, then the Koenig seems like a good place for him, just as Gilbert sort of lost control of BMC at that time, before Navarmaz was coming through and so forth. But when talking about Sagan, he said in the past he doesn't like people racing against him, and he always felt isolated in these sprint classics and in sprints. Well, if he's with the Koenig Quickstep, that's not going to be a problem. They've got teammates in abundance for the classics and also the sprints. Whether Sagan ends up specializing in one or the other in the years to come, we'll find out. I think we saw that Gilbert kind of lost his kick on the hills in favor of working on the cobbles with victories at Roubaix and Toronto von Flandre instead of winning Liège and Flesh like he used to. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see this again in a new environment. And the more I think about it, the more I'm warming to the idea of him riding for the Wolfpack. But does this effectively, if he goes to them, kill his dream of another green jersey in the Tour de France with Sam Bennett, of course, looking very strong in that competition like he did last year? Potentially. That is the big question mark here. Sam Bennett, I assume, will end up targeting the Tour for the years to come. But also the sponsor goal of having Sagan potentially win that record-breaking green jersey would also be quite a strong pull factor for sponsors and for Patrick Le 
the favourite himself. We know that the Kona Quick Step have always struggled to secure sponsorship incomes and the teams every now and then go, go through a period of being at risk financially. But Sagan definitely might have to compromise that desire, but does Sagan have it in him anyway to get that? We saw Bora Hansgrove this year. He had full command of the team almost and he couldn't deliver. So anyways, judging by Ralph Denk, he's definitely leaving the team regardless. Is there any other team Peter Scan would necessarily fit better in with than De Kerner Quickstep for the 2022 season? I think De Kerner Quickstep is a really good match for him. I'll say that now for the classics and also for the sprints, he could try to find new goals and a new team dynamic, which would be very useful for Peter Sagan. If he ends up doing what he's doing now at Bora at another team, maybe it just won't work there and we'll see this relic die. But instead, I think that we could see UAE put in a good fight to bid for Sagan. We've seen that UAE, they offer the money and they, they have a lot of big names that Sagan's work with, Mike and so forth. And I think he could fit into working alongside Christoph Matteo Trentin and so forth, and maybe even Mark Hirschi. What a formidable classics team that would be so anyways that's our first video for transfer gossip for the 2022 season and we'll definitely look out to see where peter scan will end up of course if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and also check out our new web store that we have in the link down below and as always thank you for watching and have a nice day